Do nice guys always finish last? Um, yeah, I'd say they do. But when it comes to virtuous men, that's a whole different story. You have to come to realize the difference between what a nice guy is and what a virtuous man is. Being virtuous isn't passive. A nice guy will grasp at a relationship, while a virtuous man will do whatever he can to pursue one. A nice guy will seek to be validated in what he does, whereas a virtuous man will seek to be present in whatever ways that he's wanting to love the other. A nice guy feels entitled to his relationship, or a virtuous man seeks his relationship as a way to provide for the other. A nice guy will allow fear to stifle him, whereas a virtuous man will have the courage to look fear in the face and overcome it for the other. A nice guy will eventually give up, whereas a virtuous man will persevere with fortitude. So just to recap, pursue, be present, provide, protect, and persevere. Being a virtuous man doesn't have just one type. You can't put it into a little box because that happens so often in our culture where we just want to put people into boxes. We don't allow ourselves to live freely. So if you're a shy man, you can still be virtuous because being a shy man doesn't mean that you're a pushover. It just means you take things a little slower. You take things with ease. And that's awesome, that's amazing. Being a virtuous man doesn't mean that you can't be type A. If you like having things in order, that's awesome. That's great as well. Being a virtuous man doesn't mean you can't be artistic. It doesn't mean that it only is the pipe smoking, versatile type of man. Like those men are great. But we have to realize that virtuous men come in all shapes and sizes as well. See, the Latin root of the word virtue actually is beer, which means manliness or valor, which is an amazing thing if we think about it. Living a life of virtue does not mean that we're promised any type of specific outcome. It doesn't mean that we'll get the girl, that we're gonna be instantaneously sanctified, or any of those other things. It doesn't even mean recognition. Oftentimes being virtuous means that we're gonna go unnoticed, and that's okay, because it does mean being fully alive. There's something so attractive about somebody who's fully alive, who's fully themselves, when we're no longer stifled by fear or by anxiety. And being a virtuous man is actually really attractive. People are drawn to what is good, and if you're being virtuous, that means you're being fully good and fully yourself. That's the way that all the women in our lives want to be loved. They want to be loved in a self-sacrificial type of way. No man was created to be a nice guy. We we're all created to be virtuous men. So, do nice guys finish last? Probably. But virtuous men don't. And to be virtuous means to be fully alive. Angel out.